guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be doing my March favorites video. I know it's a little late, and this was actually supposed to be the last video that I put up, but I forgot to film it. So I'm filming it now, and I'm putting it up a little late. I hope you guys forgive me. Either way, I have some great things to show you guys in this video, and I'm super excited, so let's get right into it. So firstly, this is a product that I haven't used a lot, but... When I saw this in Target, I freaked out. And they are the Herbal Essences Shampoo and Conditioner. And if you guys know of the Herbal Essences line, if you guys were a 90s kid or probably even before that, um, Herbal Essences used to come in bottles like this. This is the old school packaging of the classic Herbal Essences shampoo and conditioner. Seriously, this stuff smells exactly the way I remember it. I remember this used to be my first like big girl shampoo and conditioner. Um, I went from the L'Oreal Kids, the ones that came in the little like fish shaped um, bottles to this and this was like my big girls shampoo when I smell it I just remember smelling this and feeling like a big girl I just oh my goodness this product I've only used it once it was in my shower and I was like you know what I need to mention it to you guys before they get rid of this product again but I love it I don't know if it's permanent I don't know if it's limited edition I found it at Target and I would stock up if you guys are into that. The next product I have been loving this month is my new, this is the New Me 19mm Curling Wand. And I actually got this in my little black bag. If you guys haven't seen that video, it wasn't a super positive video, but I'll link it in the description box below if you guys want to see it. Um, I told you guys I got this in that video and this was really the only thing I was excited about in that little black bag. And I have to say, I love, love, love this curling wand. It gives me the perfect Taylor Swift curls. I actually used this product in my hair yesterday and I slept on my curls and this is second day curls. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I use this product, I can do that for you. I was thinking of doing it, but I was unsure. So if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know. Okay, moving away from hair products and moving into body products. The next product is the new Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer. And this is the Cocoa Butter Formula or the Cocoa Radiant Non-Greasy Formula that I have here. Um, basically what Vaseline did is they came out with their traditional body lotion in a spray formula. This is a continuous spray. So it's basically kind of like the Copper Tone, um, spray sunscreen if you guys have used that before this is just not a sunscreen it's just an everyday moisturizer I really don't know why a company hasn't come out with this before because this is just so ingenious you literally just spray it on your body you can rub it in if you want or you can just wait and have it sink in on its own and you just go in seconds it's seriously an amazing product my next body favorite is a perfume and I don't mention perfumes in my videos all that often because um, I actually don't wear perfume all that often, but I have been reaching for this one a lot because when spring rolled around, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to whip out this perfume because I loved it last spring. And it is my Jennifer Aniston um, perfume. I don't think this has a name. It's just called Jennifer Aniston. And I believe this is actually on sale at Sephora right now. So if you guys want it, I would snatch it from Sephora. I think it's like 50% off or something like that. So it's a really good deal. This is like the 2.0. Uh, nine fluid ounce bottle and I just love this scent. It's not a perfume I would normally gravitate towards. Um, one reason why I was a little bit more like oh I need this perfume is just because it is by Jennifer Aniston and Friends is my all-time favorite TV show but even more than that the scent is really nice it's kind of like a baby powder like baby powder meets beach. So it's got a little bit of like a sunscreeny note to it and like a sand, earth, wind, baby powder, all of that thrown into a perfume. All right, moving right into makeup now. My all-time makeup favorite this month by far has definitely been my Wet n Wild Nude Awakening eyeshadow palette and I did a whole review video on this so if you guys haven't seen it I will put a link to it in the description box below. Um, it's got eight shadows. It's limited edition. If you guys want this go out and get it right now. It is totally comparable to the Urban Decay Naked palette. The formula on these shadows is just stellar. 
Um, it's not what I'm wearing on my eyes right now, but it's still, it was my favorite of March and I ran around pretty much all of March looking for this product and I will be giving one away at the end of this video as well. So definitely stay tuned for that if you guys want this product. Another eye favorite is my Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black Vinyl. It's just my everyday black liquid liner I've been using. I've been using it in place of my um, L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner. This is just amazing. The formula on this is so much better than the L'Oreal one. It's completely waterproof, smudge proof, budge proof. I I did a really in-depth video on all of these ultra fine liquid liners as well as a whole bunch of other Milani products and I will put a link to that video in the description box below if you guys haven't seen it and I talk more about the other shades that they offer in this ultra fine line if you guys don't want a black one they have purple and green and blue and I mentioned all of those and did swatches in that video so go check it out continuing on with makeup my next product is a lip favorite and I don't have a lot of lip favorites to show you in this video because I kind of talked your ear off about that in my February favorites already so um, the one that I want to mention in here is a new product for me I never thought I'd try it but I did and I love it and I just want to mention it and it is the Chroma Beauty by the Kardashians it is their joystick lip lacquer in the shade Rose Parade so it's basically just a jumbo lip crayon and it twists up from the bottom and the thing that I actually like about this is it's skinnier than a lot of the traditional you know crayon type products and the fact that this is so incredibly pigmented really helps in the sense that it is thinner so you can get a really nice precise application it lasts a long time it does it doesn't smudge and it doesn't bleed but it does transfer so it's not transfer resistant it does kind of stay in your lips too it doesn't claim to do that but I have found in my experience at least with this bright red color it does stain my lips a little bit and I like that I really really do like this product okay my next favorite is a blush and I mentioned this in my recent Sephora haul video if you guys haven't seen that once again I'll link it in the description box below I will basically be linking everything there so definitely go check the description box for tons of other videos and other fun stuff but the blush I wanted to talk about is the Dior Rosy Glow Healthy Glow Awakening blush and this is just a really really pretty hot bright bubblegum pink I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now it's a product I didn't think would actually flatter me but it really does it's a matte finish it's one of those blushes that claims to adjust with your skin tone and give you your perfect pink, kind of like the Smashbox O Glow. I just know I really, really do like this blush. I've been reaching for it a whole lot. And the brush that I use with that blush is from the Sigma Buddy Collection. And actually, the entire Sigma Buddy Collection is in my favorites video. But this particular brush is really, really nice. It's a large angled contour F40 brush. And it is just a large angled contour brush. It's a really, really nice size I found, especially for blush. You can see it's pink on the tip because I've been using it with that Dior blush. And this is just perfect. It just blends in your blush flawlessly. I really like the synthetic hairs on it. I just really like this entire bunny collection. Um, I have some other miscellaneous brushes in here, but the bunny collection is the one that has the blue handle and the pink ferrules. And I just love them. I love the synthetic bristles. I would recommend the Sigma Buddy Collection. I think it's probably one of my favorite Sigma kits that I've ever gotten. I like it a lot more than their traditional one. Then we'll jump right into nail favorites. This is a indie nail polish company that has completely stolen my heart. It is Enchanted Polish and this is the Enchanted Polish Imagine collection and this particular shade is called Octopus's Garden. It's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. It is the most amazing, crazy duochrome nail polish. It goes from like a purple to a red to an orange to a green. It's just amazing. Another enchanted polish from that same Imagine collection. This one is called Magical Mystery Tour. It goes from like a blue to a purple to a green to a yellow. It's just amazing. And I Instagrammed a picture of this on my nails last month. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have probably seen it. Both of these have been my favorite. If you guys don't know anything about indie brand polishes, you guys want to know more about them, I would recommend checking out my friend Yuki's 
video on indie polishes. She talks about what they are, why you should get them, where you can get them, how much they cost, um, the brands that are available. She did a huge, huge, huge in-depth review video on that. So I will put a link to her indie polish overview video in the description box below. Like I said, check it out before you get any indie polishes. If you're thinking of jumping into indie polish for the first time, you should definitely check out her video. So that is it for beauty favorites. Now on to random favorites. I have a few favorite food favorites. I have a few, few, I have a few food favorites for you guys. Um, the first is this. This is the double dipped chocolate peanuts. Um, it says taste hand cooked Virginia peanuts are double dipped in rich milk chocolate. These are amazing. I don't know where you can get these from. My friend from Virginia actually sent them to me in a swap and she sent me a little care package which I Instagrammed a picture of as well. And I had a whole bunch of amazing goodies in it. But these peanuts, I have been eating like nothing. Like if you guys look in there, that's how many I have left. I think I only had this thing for like a week and I've just been eating these like no other. Another product which I love is blueberry scones. I got these. This is the original two bite original blueberry scones. Um, and here is what one looks like because I only have one left. They're really, really small and cute, and they are so delicious. I'm going to actually eat this one, like, as soon as I'm done talking. These are amazing. I get these at, I've seen them at Ralph's, I've seen them at Vaughn's. They're in various um, grocery stores, and they're just so yummy. They're so easy to eat. Um, I sometimes just pack a few into a little Ziploc bag and take it with me on the go if I'm driving somewhere early in the morning or if I'm going to school or something. They're just really easy to take. They're not messy. They're really yummy, and they fill you up. I don't have a favorite movie of the month. Month, but I do have a favorite TV show of the month and this is not a new TV show I've talked about it before but I recently caught up and it is Vampire Diaries Vampire Diaries is just an amazing 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 TV show for those of you guys who have not watched it you need to it's amazing I know lots of people are obsessed with Pretty Little Liars and I have to say Vampire Diaries tops Pretty Little Liars like nothing like you know Pretty Little Liars is here, but Vampire Diaries is way up here. So that's pretty much it. Those are all of my favorites for March. Now, before I let you go, I promised you guys a little giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one of the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening eyeshadow palettes to one lucky viewer. If you guys want the chance of winning this palette, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, Total Makeup Junkie 101. You have to go ahead and like this video, and then you have to go down there in the comments below and tell me your favorites for March. That's all you have to do you can leave as many comments as you want this giveaway will be open for approximately two weeks the exact end date and more information and all the rules and everything will be written in the description box below so be sure to open the more info section so that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for sticking around for my March favorites video good luck entering so you can win your own wet and wild nude awakening eyeshadow palette and I will talk to you guys later bye